Hey everyone, I will be talking about one of my favorite topics regarding the supernatural. You've seen me do time lapses and talks about the Filipino supernatural creatures, but one that is not Filipino but is one of my faves is La Llorona. Besides the time lapse, I wanted to bring up one of my pet peeves in regarding the representation of La Llorona in movies. Uh, alongside a lot of these American Exorcist supernatural films. Uh, my pet peeve surrounds the idea of La Rirona posed as an existential and moralistic threat. And it turns out in the year of 2019, there were two movies released regarding La Rirona. One is known as The Curse of La Rirona, uh, directed by James Swan, and is part of the Conjuring universe. The other film was directed by a Guatemalan director simply called La Rirona. In this version, it's not your typical supernatural movie that we'd see in from America, but it does have a, an interesting blend between horror and political thriller. In this version, the story is about a former dictator, a Guatemalan dictator, and how his family is haunted by nightmares of the past, and the past regarding some war crimes that he did, but was not um, uncovered until much later. And uh, it's a very interesting movie, a very interesting story, and I think it's something that's not often done before, combining uh, politics and uh, horror. To me, I think this brings up a very interesting interesting and a very important topic to go over while we discuss how I came up with the idea of my version of uh, La Llorona. The reason that this is important to me is that I'm often tired of the way certain horror franchises like The Conjuring depicts of the supernatural ever since the first Exorcist film. I love the original, by the way, so don't fight me on that. But ever since that became popular, a lot of religious supernatural films have been made to kind of have this sort of conflict thesis between faith and evil, good and evil, conversion, repentance, and people who uh, are not of the same belief system. And this often manifested in the way that the supernatural is depicted. It's also the reason, very reason why I prefer dark fantasy as opposed to generic horror, because I often often side with the, uh, the dark forces, not in a bad way, but often as misunderstood uh, beings. And so that's the one fundamental difference between the version of The Curse of La Llorona versus uh, La Llorona, directed by the, a Guatemalan director, a completely different culture. But it's clear that since La Llorona comes from Hispanic culture, I would trust that they would better handle that kind of folklore in their own right. And I love that in this version, La Llorona is not, visually speaking, it's not like your gritty, dark kind of representation because they wanted to focus on realism and more of suspense as opposed to a uh, direct visual like scare and you know something you would often typically see in the Conjuring universe. But what I love about the political thriller version is that instead of making the audience pit themselves in a typical good versus evil, it's more of a supernatural revenge and kind of making it more empathetic to the La Llorona being as opposed to simply depicting her as purely evil. And that's simply what I love about the version of the, the Guatemalan version. So you should really check that one out. Well, both movies are good in their own right. The one I will say, the reason I decided to draw La Llorona like this is I still do love the typical gothic horror representation, but I do hope that in the future they could blend those two, if that makes any sense. Like, yes, I do love uh, social commentary, political thrillers, but the least they, they could do is kind of, I guess, take the La Llorona from James Swan's version and put it in this version, and that to me would be like 100% my favorite. But it's good enough, I would say it's like 99% my favorite. So that's what I just wanted to get off my system. And I hope you enjoy that time lapse, and I hope that makes any sense, I suppose. And I hope you enjoy this uh, sort of depiction of my La Llorona. 